Welcome back to Realistic DIYers. A little tip today regarding some sticky stuff. So you have sticky stuff around the house, whether you've just moved in and somebody had fairy lights stuck up on your beautifully new PVC windows, or you changing your rug and you're lifting your rug and you'd, you'd secured it with some double-sided sticky tape. Urgh, you've got some dirty, goopy stuff. Also, in DIY projects, sometimes you do actually support or secure whilst you're cutting or measuring an item. We by accident did use a double-sided sticky tape, which we are never going to use again because we got results like this, which makes the product after a little bit unusable and you don't want to throw away, you want to recycle, you want to work on a budget, use all your pieces and all your cutoffs. So with many household tips and tricks, you have abrasive options like bicarbonate of soda, which does work magic. You've got acidic options like vinegar. Ooh, it stinks, but it does work like a diamond sometimes. However, in the ring today, our opponents are a little bit of acetone and a little bit of WD-40. Which one do you think is going to work the best and how do you think they're going to work? Let's have a look. Realistic DIYing, you don't always need to get your dungarees on or change into your work clothes, but do just protect yourself and your surroundings. Old dust sheet, why not? Nails, I'm not paying for them every week. <laughs> Here we go. Make sure you get a lot on there so it gives it a chance. Give it a moment so it can break down. So I can feel it moving it around, but it's actually, it's just getting gunky. It's not actually coming off. Right. Whoa! It's gone. I can feel that just releasing it. That's becoming smoother and smoother. So at the, mo at the moment, the remaining glue has lifted and it just seems to be the film of the tape that's remaining. So you can see it has absolutely dissolved it. So although you can stop and peel it off, if you just go a little bit more concentrated because the kitchen roll is just a little bit abrasive, so it does lift it as you go along. Do you see that bit come off? Look at that. I mean, we just have one or two patches. It's not a tedious job if you've, you've got a lot, of, a lot of sticky areas. So that's clear now. Actually, it's coming off easy now. I found that if you soak it in the WD-40, you don't need to scrub it straight away but I found, give it a minute or two, and actually, it's coming off much easier. Look at that. Woohoo! It's like sunburnt skin that just peels off. <laughs> a spa day for the wood. They're exfoliating the wood. It's coming off nice and easy, quick and fast. But it just needed a minute with the WD-40, just to break it down. <laughs> smooth smooth and clean there's nothing left there's nothing left on there you can see that even now this is coming off clear so you can actually still see where where the tape was but there's absolutely nothing there to feel acetone just made a great big mess as always, tips and tricks to help you along the way. Please remember to like, subscribe, bell all, so that we can keep showing you what we do. Like, subscribe and bell all.